If you build it, they will come. I got this entire site on real life. Cool. I know. This is so exciting. Yes, that is my rig. We have survived our first night boondocking at that truck stop. I think we're in Rochelle, Illinois. We drive till the wee hours of the morning, but we are on our way to Iowa. So anyway, we'll get more later. all the way from Michigan for Field of Dreams. Da -da -da -da. We thought we'd stop out before the crowd gets here, but um, Hubby's up there. He's going to get himself some souvenirs today. And um, But tomorrow I'll get some more pictures of all the festivities. It's the 30th anniversary of the movie release. And so we got a all-star event. Ugh, there's these black gnats everywhere. But anyway, peace out. See ya. On video, Field of Dreams. Was it worth the drive from Michigan? Sure. <laughs> So this is New Wine Park in Dubuque County, Iowa, and right um, east to the campground, there are a lot of, there's a little park and there's a lot of grills out here um, so that you and your family can have a wonderful grill out, but it's just gorgeous. I love this park. and. So the best, best thing is, is that, here I'll show you. So here are uh, a little map at the entry of the park of all the trails that they have through the park. So even if you just stay here in the campground, there is a lot to do um, to commune with nature. And I'm gonna walk right over here. And I am not lying when I say that it's $18 a night. And they say $18 a night for electric, but that's water and electric. Um, and the daily camping fee, if you want to just boondock, is $13 a night. Man, let me tell you what. I got online, um, and I booked it. And there's a little bit of a convenience fee to book ahead of time. Uh, when I booked ahead of time, it was $25 a night, and uh, which is very reasonable for the electricity is good and the water, it's great. Um, so I love this park. It's like a little diamond in the rough because all I could find online was a bunch of RV parks, which were resorts, and this is a county owned campground in Dubuque County and it is just gorgeous and it is literally only like maybe five five to ten minutes away from Field of Dreams and there's a little moss like a, a basilica and 
Basilica of St. But this park is very convenient. Um, up north, there's a national park. It's the Effigy Mounds, which is about an hour and a half away. And um, so it's not that far. It seems to be in a really good spot if you're like um, exploring Iowa, or at least on the eastern side of, northeastern side of Iowa. And um, it's just beautiful. I will tell you there are a lot of bugs right now, but that's they had they were flooded out. They've had so much rain this year. And so this is a trail. And so I think in a little bit I am gonna go explore. Uh Norm and Phyllis from We've Gone Camping. We're gonna join up with them and I am so excited that um it'll be fun and maybe we'll just go for a little hike down this trail and um get to know them a little bit but i love their youtube videos norm always has some great mods for his camper to make things a little bit more convenient Ooh, there's a grill if someone wants to use that grill i think we need a little weed whacking going on here but um anyway and phyllis uh, she seems like she's an amazing cook and I love the fact that she makes ice cream in her camper while she's out. It's crazy, but who, who doesn't love fresh ice cream? Oh my goodness. I wish I could eat that. I'm going to talk to her to see if she's got suggestions for non-dairy ice cream for me. But, um, I was getting eaten up by a bug. But let me show you this across the bridge. It's a little river that runs right through the campground. Oh my goodness. I guess you can bring your fishing pole and go fishing here too. So, we'll have to see. Just met some really cool people walking down the road. Look their pup. It's a pet friendly campground also but there's some other trails some people must be down there hiking I absolutely love this it is very well maintained it is an older campground so um, you know it's not going to be resorty style um, but it seems to be very family friendly kids I've seen kids riding their bikes up and down the road and um, everybody's extremely friendly up here they greet you um, shake your hand there's a lot of locals that seem to use this campground that come down here just to enjoy the weekend and get away from the rigmarole of daily life but yeah this is new wine campground in dubuque county it's a county campground it's beautiful just to show you the space between the campers this is one site and that's another site so there's quite a bit of space between campers but there's my man enjoying the bugs outside so again the only reason why there's a lot of bugs it seems to be that they were all flooded out here two weeks ago this was all underwater which is amazing that it's so cleaned up and this is the view from the other side this is our rig and we have nice big yard space so if you've got a pet or a campsite it would be perfect it's campsite number two or i'm sorry campsite number four um up there that's campsite number two so i think campsite number two would be good too nice grassy lots for a tent and they are clean. And that one with the tent, nice grassy site, would be site number six. In the center of the campground, they got a 
their drive goes around the center. There is a flushing bathroom with showers. And they also, over here, do have a dump station. I'm going to take a look at that. Okay. So we drove around this place looking for a dump station. And come to find out, this is it. So if there's a truck in front of it, it is really super easy to pass by it. It is adjacent to the bathroom. So for y'all that might come down here... I just thought I'd let y'all know. Anyway, behind the bathroom is another pavilion and a playground for the kids. And way back there is a hay field on the other side. Or some kind of field. But it is just a beautiful park. I don't want to invade on anybody's privacy here. But nice spaces, well kept. Let's go check out these bathrooms. Okay, so the bathrooms are a little bit aged, but it's an older campground. But it is, appears to be very clean. Um, let's check out the shower. It's just concrete, so you will want to Definitely make sure you bring your sandals to come in and shower, but at least it's available. It's got a little chair for someone. So that must be the like a handicapper accessible because the door is wider. So anyway, that's the bathroom. At least they got one. So they do have next to this campsite, which is 2627. It says handicapper parking only. So I'm not sure if this is a concrete um, pad for a handicapper camper so that someone could get through on their wheelchair instead of having the loose gravel like we do or the grass they got a little concrete pad for them so that is really nice it's a nice little pad too going here at Field of Dreams, Iowa, Dyersburg, Iowa. We're going to go check this out and see what it is. A little souvenir. There is the baseball field. The house. The barn. And here's my cornfield that the ghosts are going to be coming out of tonight. Yes. Ankle high. Beautiful farm. Proof there's nothing in the cornfield. Yep. 
They're having a fun home run derby. Home run derby. I wish I could be that tall. It was a very shortened fence. Yeah, a lot of people here. Oh, yeah. I was surprised. Woo! I love it. Get back. Get back. What a fun time. Easily. 